Hi everyone, I'm Louise Labby Fahey. I'm the CE Director here at East Woodstock Congregational Church. So today I wanted to talk about Pentecost. Pentecost is one of the feast days in our church and it is this coming Sunday. One of the things we always think about with Pentecost is that we wear red, um, but there's a lot of other things that happen with Pentecost. We say that Pentecost is the day that Jesus ascended into heaven now the word ascend means to go up. So like if you're in a plane, the plane ascends up into the air. Or if you climb a mountain, you're ascending up the mountain. When you're coming back down, that's descending. So we say that Jesus ascended up to heaven on that day. We also say that on that day, the apostles, the disciples, were filled with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Um, and they were able to do a lot more things than they could before when Jesus was there. They learned, um, So I'm going to show you some things to get ready for Pentecost right now. So one of the things I made today was a dove. Um, and they say that some people think of um, when the Holy Spirit came, they think of it as a dove. Some people think of it as um, a tongue of fire. So this is just a paper plate that I cut out and I glued together, really simple. Um, and that's something you might want to make to remind you as we get ready for um, Pentecost, okay? One of the things that goes up in the air is a kite. So I made a little red kite and um, it says gifts of the Holy Spirit. But then I wrote the gifts of the Holy Spirit on the bottom. So the gifts of the Holy Spirit are wisdom, knowledge, counsel, fortitude, understanding, piety, and fear of the Lord. Now, I'm not going to tell you what all those mean today. I'm going to tell you on Sunday. But if you know what any of those mean, put it down in the comments. I am going to be so impressed. And you could take this and you could put it in your bedroom. Um, maybe on your bedroom door or someplace where you're going to see it in your bedroom to remind you that soon, on Sunday, Pentecost is coming. The other thing I made was a kite. So let me show you how I did it. This was super easy, but um, you may need the help of an adult if you're young. So what I did was I took two sticks don't tell my kids because these sticks are the ones they use to make s'mores with. And I just put them on a piece of a garbage can liner, trash can liner. So ask your parents before you take that away from them and out of the cupboard. And I just tied the, stri the sticks together with some yarn because that's what I had. Um, you could also use like if you went outside, you could find some twigs or um, other kinds of sticks. It doesn't really matter what you find. Um, and you could tie them together either with some string or ribbon, whatever you have. I had yarn in the house. Then I taped my sticks down to my corners. And then I taped on, on I put on a um, V. And then to that, I attached my yarn to fly it. And I took some of my leftover um, garbage bag and I just put it together to make the tail of my kite. So I think it's not a bad kite and you could decorate the top of it. Um, I did not do that, but you could um, decorate the top of it. So a few things for you to know. Pentecost is 50 days after Easter. So all this time from Easter until now, it's still the Easter season. Um, and we're going to be finishing Easter on Sunday. It's been 50 days since Easter. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, that is then. Um, the other thing is that we say that Pentecost is the birthday of the church. Now, that's different than Jesus' birthday because Jesus' birthday is Christmas. But this is the day of the birthday of the church, the whole church together. And so, if it's a birthday, you know what's going to happen on Sunday, right? We have to have cake. So, come back on Sunday. We're going to talk about what each of these are, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and what they mean. And have cake. 
Um, so until Sunday, um, get outside. It's beautiful out. And peace be with you.